Danilo Cavalcante, from Wikipedia, the Free Encyclopedia. Danilo Souza Cavalcante, born July 3, 1989, is a Brazilian national accused of murder in the Brazilian state of Tocantins and is a convicted murderer in the U.S. state of Pennsylvania. He escaped from the Chester County Prison on August 31, 2023, and was apprehended on September 13, 2023, after a 14-day manhunt by police. Born in Maranhão, Cavalcante fled to the United States after Brazilian authorities issued a warrant for his arrest in Tocantins in 2017, in connection with the shooting death of Walter Jr. Moreira dos Reis, a student. In the United States, he was convicted and sentenced to life in prison for yet another murder, the stabbing of his ex-girlfriend, Deborah Brandau, also Brazilian, in April 2021. One week after sentencing, on August 31, 2023, he escaped from imprisonment in Chester County Prison in Pocopson Township by Crab, walking upward between two walls and pushing through razor wire. Lieutenant Colonel George Bivens of Chester County said on September 8 that there were 400 local, state, and federal agents searching for Cavalcante in a wooded patch in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. According to police, Cavalcante has experience hiding in wooded areas, a technique he used to elude Brazilian authorities. On Sunday, September 10, a stolen van believed to have been driven by the fugitive was found abandoned and out of gas behind a barn in Glenmore. On September 11, he was placed on the Interpol red list. North American authorities were offering a reward of $25,000 for information on Cavalcante's whereabouts. Pennsylvania State Police apprehended him on the morning of September 13. 2023, in South Coventry near Prizer Road and Pa Route 100. Cavalcante accidentally tripped a security alarm around midnight. About an hour later police detected his heat signature, but waited until sunrise to approach because of inclement weather. Authorities used a police dog to subdue him where he was hiding near a large pile of chopped wood behind Littles a John Deere tractor dealership in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. The dog caused minor injuries to Cavalcante's scalp. A SWAT team transported him to the Pennsylvania State Police Avondale Barracks. Authorities say they plan to transfer him to the Cy Phoenix in Skippic Township. Overview. Murder in Tocantins. On November 5, 2017, Cavalcante shot and killed the student Walter Jr. Moreira dos Reis in the city of Figueropolis, Tocantins, Brazil. Investigations indicated that they were friends and the murder allegedly occurred due to a debt that Walter owed him. One week after the crime, the Brazilian justice system accepted a request for preventive detention made by the public prosecutor's office, issuing a warrant for him. Cavalcante, in turn, became a fugitive and traveled to the United States in January 2018. Although there was an arrest warrant against him, Cavalcante left the country through Brasilia International Airport because the Tocantins justice system had not yet requested the registration of the decision in the National Warrant Registry which only occurred seven months after the crime, in June 2018. Murder of ex-girlfriend in the United States In the United States, he began a relationship with Deborah Brandau, age 33, also a Brazilian. According to investigations, Cavalcante did not accept the end of the relationship and had been threatening the victim since 2020. On April 8, 2021, Deborah was in front of her house with her two children, aged four and seven, in the Skylkill Township of Chester County, Pennsylvania, when Cavalcante attacked her and stabbed her 38 times, leading to her death. He was later arrested in Prince William Ty, Virginia by Virginia State Police. After extradition to Pennsylvania, he was sentenced to life imprisonment in Chester County, Pennsylvania. The victim's child testified in the hearing of the prosecution of Cavalcante. Prison escape. He escaped from the Chester County prison where he was incarcerated in Pocopson Township. Chester County, Pennsylvania on August 31, 2023, by crab walking scaling walls and maneuvering around the razor wire fencing. Pennsylvania State Police Lt. Col. George Bivens stated on September 8 that 400 local, state, and federal agents participated in searching for Cavalcante in a wooded area in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. According to the police, Cavalcante was experienced at traveling through wooded areas to evade capture a technique he used to elude Brazilian authorities in 2017. On September 11, he was placed on the Interpol's red list. U.S. authorities initially offered a $20,000 reward for information about Cavalcante's whereabouts, which was increased to $25,000 on September 11, 
On the evening of September 12, footprints identical to those of prison shoes worn by Cavalcante were found in mud along Pennsylvania Route 100 in South Coventry Township, Chester County, Pennsylvania, and more than 500 police officers were sent to search and secure the perimeter. Multiple searches took place during the night by the Pennsylvania State Police and Bortak. Following his actions, his sister was arrested by ICE for immigration issues. Capture. On the morning of September 13, shortly after 8 a.m., state authorities announced he had been taken into custody. He was captured in a forested area in South Coventry, also in Chester County, about 25-30 miles away from Chester County Prison. From local residents who lent their account of the events, the fugitive was known to be in the area because a Jeep owner spotted a man in a field and called 911. A burglar alarm also sounded around midnight prior to the capture. The D flew a plane over the area using heat sensor technology. A man whose wife came home from the grocery store and after they were watching TV together, noticed the increased activity of law enforcement in the area. He learned that the work boots he used to mow the lawn were missing from his porch. It is not widely known how the fugitive got the Philadelphia Eagles sweatshirt he was wearing, but it is acknowledged he was found sleeping. Yoda, a K-9 belonging to U.S. Border Patrol S. Bortak unit from El Paso, Texas, was deployed as he tried to crawl away under a pile of logs in the rear of Little's John Deere. It is noted in the media that he sustained a minor scalp wound. Fire and EMS responded to the call and arrived on scene to render an assessment. A photograph of the detained fugitive was taken. He was interviewed. An arraignment took place. Custody of the fugitive was assumed by the Pennsylvania Department of Corrections at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and now housed at Skippick Township's Cy Phoenix facility in Montgomery County, as inmate now. QP 8931, 